Hello Internet, it's JB Dunphy, your BMW genius, and today we're going to be going over the My BMW app and how to make the most out of your app, why you should have it, etc. So, first and foremost, if you have not seen the My BMW app, this is the app right here, down here. Don't mind, ooh, don't mind everything else in the background here. Uh, basically, what you need to know about it is this gives you access to your car, whether it's a PHEV, anything else. I'm going to show you this as well as a PHEV version. Now, I don't have a PHEV on the lot right now that I can connect to, but I do have uh, my own personal mini Countryman PHEV, so I'll show you how that works with that too. But, bottom line of it, you can see everything that you need to know about the car right here. And from this app itself, you can lock it, unlock, you can flash the headlights, honk the horn, do remote start on your car, see its various statuses, you can see how much gas you have, uh, anything that's wrong with the car, like for instance, a door is open on the car, therefore it's not locked. You can do everything from your vehicle finder, um, have an actual climate control timer, so if you leave at a certain time of, certain time of day, uh, I know it starts running, uh, leave at a certain time of day, you can use that to basically say, hey, I'm going to leave every morning at 7 a.m. and have your car nice and warm by the time you go out to the car. You have a remote camera view if you have your 360 cameras. And if you have that, you can actually access your remote camera view. It is not a live video, just keep that in mind. It is only a camera that you can then kind of rotate around. And of course, your history of everything you do. But you can also do, from right here, all your dealer services, where you can take your dealer itself, schedule a service, or find another dealer near you if you're not by home. Get all the info about your car, where you can find out your car, what the VIN number is, mileage on it, anything you have connected, including your driver's guide, and a nice little picture of the car itself and roadside assistance. Now, of course, that is not all you can do from here. You also have access to the general map and be able to send anything from here directly to your car. So if you want to take a nap, you can send it to that. You can also uh, share locations from your normal map. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, I'll link that in the upper corner right here. Uh, you have access to all of my Explore BMW. We have all the nice new stuff coming out through BMW. Check out all of it because it's an absolute blast. And of course, all of your uh, profile information as well. So from here, you can also access your financials. You can see your payoff. You can make a payment if you're doing it through uh, leasing or financing services. You have access to BMW's online shop as well as the Connected Drive store. So if after four years, all of your Connected Drive stuff goes away, this is how you can add more things from here. Also, the My BMW app with a reason to really do it. Oh yeah, I know, because the door's open. Uh, the reason you, it's really worthwhile is you can do things like get access to various services like your uh, connected drive services uh, through it, as well as Amazon Alexa. Amazon Alexa, there if you don't know, can you know do things in your home, prepare for anything you might want, customizing all your various benefits. You can also set up and get into your BMW from anywhere, scan a QR code to automatically log in. If you haven't seen that before, you can basically use this guy to, you know, log into your profile so you don't have to type it in into the car itself. You can just simply do it directly from the app by going to that settings and scanning a QR code. So yeah, uh, you got all that. You can also see any collected data. You can delete all connected data. You can, uh, change a bunch of stuff around here. Now, of course, the other side of it is especially helpful for if you have a PHEV. Let's see here, come on, look at my face, thank you. So, of course, this is my other car. I can see from right here the combined range. I can see how much charge I have. And, of course, the same gas level you saw on the other one, but you get that combined option. Uh, when all your PHEVs, you'll see this little guy right here. Since it's climatized, you're not actually remote starting on PHEVs. So instead you'll have climatization. And uh, if you don't have a roadster on your car, you'll see this one instead and it'll say ventilation. And of course, again, find things. The one thing that's different for PHEVs and the electric vehicles that BMW offers is the charging option. So this little charging right here, you can see your actual charge history. And depending on whether you have anything set up, so you can see where it is, you can connect your home service. You can actually see how much it costs for each charge. And of course, see how much you've added, how many charging sessions you've had for each month. And similar to the other one, you can do your change, uh, charging departures. Now the one difference that you have with this one versus um, the non-PFs, 
P-hubs give you ability to add two charging options as well as uh, an actual day of the week. Yes, uh, this card changes. And of course, with everything else, it's the exact same across everything on here. So yes, that's your My BMW app. That's one of the main reasons you should get it. Super helpful, super great way to just kind of keep in contact with your car. And of course, if you have multiple BMWs, you have your entire garage right here. You can also find other cars to find out, hey, I maybe I want to add another BMW. Let's see what we have. Uh, oh, here we go. I forgot that we have some demo cars we can do here. So, demo, demo, good stuff. Anywho, with that, that is the My BNW app. Various reasons you should have it. Things are helpful to see through it. Again, I'm sorry about the shaky way of doing this. I actually am currently <laughs> doing it in a very funky way here. So I have like a little tiny stand here and it's, you know, helpful, but it's a little shaky because it's not the best thing in the world. Hi, how you guys doing? Uh, but yeah. So with that, thanks for being with us. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any other things you want to see, leave that in the comments down below. And again, sorry for the different way of doing it this time around. Just trying new things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks again for being with us.